what it says in the book of Romans chapter 3. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. Ah, I tell you, man, is there any men of God left? Is there any men or women of God that will stand up and just say, this is wrong? What is going on here? I'll tell you, this fake Christian, fake, I would not have a problem with her if she did not pose as a Christian. See, that's the damage. But this fake Christian just performed on this notorious lesbian show, telling tens of millions and soon to be hundreds of millions that it's okay, that it's okay. But we're going to find out today as we look at this that it's not okay. But for crying out loud, men and women of God, stand up. Don't worry about the shills and the trolls. Who are to, don't be judgy. Oh my gosh, somebody stand up for the love of God. All right, so right now we're going to listen to a YouTube channel. This is called, the name of the YouTube channel is The Dove TV. Uh, this will probably be the only video I ever watch from this channel because you've got um, some very spineless men, uh, gutless, who will not stand up for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, as you're about to hear. There's a there's a female commentator who's giving a breakdown of what happened as Lauren Daigle performed on The Ellen Show. And then you'll listen to these two. Uh, so here we go. It ...because she said that she didn't agree with some of the opinions that that gospel singer had about homosexuality. So this is huge for Lauren Daigle to be invited and actually appear on the show. And we asked the question earlier if there was an interview. We did speak to one of our staff members and she watched it. She said there was no interview that she just performed. Um, and it, it's to me, it's hysterical. I analyze everything. Uh, they very godly looking, right? They look studied. This guy's pretending like he's writing something. So uh, we might want to listen to what they have to say, right? And was able to sing that song that you guys just heard here, yeah. Still Rolling Stones. Well, uh, you know, this, this is, uh, I think we insert ourselves into judgmental positions prematurely. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Gutless number one refuses to stand up for the truth of Jesus Christ. And if it's just me or is anybody out there, can anybody stand up for God without worried about clowns like this calling you judgy or judgmental or judge not that you be not judged? No. John 7, 24, judge righteously from the very mouth of Jesus Christ, especially when it comes to matter, matters of doctrine. A leading Christian singer should not be on a homosexual's show. And we'll address the rest coming up here. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't know all the circumstances behind this. I asked a yeah, question, was she actually invited? actually do know the circumstances. A leading Christian singer sang a song on one of the world's most notorious advocates and gay person. This is anti-Christ behavior. What more do you need to know? She did not sup with them. She voluntarily, in all her narcissism, I'm talking about Lauren Daigle, performed on the Ellen DeGeneres show with the absolute intention of furthering her career. She did not give glory to Jesus Christ. That's why she's a phony and a fake. Okay, she's not offended. But let's continue by Ellen to be there. I will say this. I I know one of Ellen's producers. Oh, really? Oh, comes from know. a very strong Christian home. Oh, well, well, there you go. That makes everything okay, right? Well, we didn't know that. If you had just said that in the beginning, then there'd be no kerfuffle. Well, that's a load. That's that, but, but you see, that this is the silliness of modern-day Christianity. Somehow he's actually justifying that. Like, you're Oh, oh, well, okay, then that's all right. It's absolute madness. So we need to be careful here, and I don't we think... We actually don't need to be careful. And I repeat it again. Stand up. Be a man of God and call right, right, and wrong, wrong. I'm tired of this being careful. This is why there are no men and women of God that we believers have found the balance between balance. loving and encouraging this. Okay, do you know what loving is? Let me tell you what loving is, because this was clearly not demonstrated. Ellen DeGeneres calls 
Lauren Daigle and says, will you come and perform on my show? Lauren Daigle, because she's in love with Jesus Christ, says, you know what, I would, but I'm not going to because you're a homosexual. You are antichrist. You're an abomination in the eyes of God Almighty. But here's the good news. Jesus Christ has come to set you free and will save your soul. And the reason that I'm telling you this is because I love you. That's love. Did any of that happen? No. Because had that happened, had that happened, you would have seen one of two things. Either Ellen DeGeneres would have come to the saving love of Jesus Christ, and she would have announced this nationwide, or she would have kicked Lauren Daigle off and not aired the performance. Since neither of those happened, you can guarantee that she didn't do that. Therefore, love was not represented. Come into Christ without changing. Yeah. That's that's the issue. Well, but nonetheless, I, I I have no problem with that. I thought that's probably a good thing. Of course to do. you don't. In the last us. segment, we talked about whether she was interviewed on the Ellen Show as right. well, and she wasn't. She just sang a song. And I think uh, hopefully sometimes folks who are posting some of the negative views on this would listen to what she actually sang about okay. on the Ellen DeGeneres Show. Okay, here's where it gets funny because we're going to go right after this, we're going to go look at what Lauren Daigle sang. But I want you to pay careful attention to as he's about to read some of these lyrics so in it she sang about the voice of the savior that she okay she just said that she sang about the voice of the savior remember that believe she talked about her faith about revival mm -hmm. um the song is loaded with uh, amazing meaningful content mm -hmm. okay so talk about some descriptive words amazing did you hear that the way that he said that it's amazing it, almost as though it's the most amazing song he's ever heard is this true let's go find out all right so here we are at az lyrics the name of the song is called still rolling stones does anybody find that troubling that it, does it, it it's come from an old blues robert johnson i believe blues song that the rolling stones and i could be wrong on that i apologize but that the Rolling Stones named their band after. And here it is still rolling. Do you, is that, that's almost like a form of mockery. I don't know, I, why would any Christian name their song this, this title? But let's roll it back. Let's take a look at what she's, now remember, here comes the amazing lyrics. Out of the shadows bound for the gallows, a dead man walking till love came calling. Well, no Jesus, well, just love, okay. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Six feet under, I thought it was over. An answer to prayer, the voice of the Savior? No, it doesn't say the Savior, does it? It says a Savior. Are there more than one Saviors? No, yes. Some of you say yes. You're wrong. There's only one. No need to say a Savior. There's only one Savior. Why wouldn't she put the? Well, Drew, you're very judgy, Drew. You're on some kind of a thing. No, I'm not. This is very purposeful. I mean, my gosh, how much evidence do you folks need? But here's the, the saddest thing. You're going to still have the majority of these fans who have lifted up Lauren Daigle as an absolute idol, and they will come and defend her to the death. Let's read some more of these amazing lyrics. All at once I came alive, this beating heart, these open eyes, the grave let go, the darkness should have known. You're still rolling, 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 rolling. Here's your tribute to the Rolling Stones. I, I, I don't know what that means, but apparently they are amazing. Now that you saved me, who? Who has saved her? The, this is the old trick again. All these supposed Christian songs, they say you and me and you did this and you did that. And I'm singing, who are they singing to? Why, what's the harm there in, in, in praising the one that you're singing about by name? Where is the name of Jesus Christ? Just saying. I sing because you gave me a song of revival. Put it on vinyl. Rise up, rise up. I was once blinded. Uh, no. Wow. Are these amazing? This beating heart, these open eyes, the grave let go, the darkness should have known. Rolling Stones. As far as I know, she's singing to Mick Jagger. Who's she singing to? You can read the rest of these. Are they amazing? Are they amazing? Wow. I think for somebody to call lyrics amazing, first you've got to mention the name of the Savior. The Savior. Not a Savior. The Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow. 
So we'll conclude with these guys right here. Absolutely worthless as far as anything helpful. They actually supported a uh, supposed Christian singer's appearance on a homosexual talk show. So again, modern day, not going to find that here at, at this channel. And finally, we're going to address another issue which came up. A lot of people said, well, you know, Lauren Daigle uh, went on the Ellen DeGeneres show because uh, Jesus did the same thing. You know, Jesus ate with sinners and uh, that's that. So let's look at Matthew chapter 9 and we can read about this if you go down to verse 10. And it came to pass that Jesus sat at meat at, in his, I'm sorry, in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with them and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto the disciples, Why does he eat with publicans and sinners? And then Jesus spoke up and he said, They that behold me not a physician, but they that are sick. And so what's the difference? Well, Jesus was preaching the gospel. That's why. He, you have to go to the sick people to deliver the gospel, obviously. That's not what Lauren Daigle was doing. Lauren Daigle was singing for herself. If she was preaching the gospel, she would have preached it to Ellen first. And I gave you this scenario before. None of that happened. So this was a narcissistic performance uh, with the express intention of only advancing her career. The gospel was not preached. And here it is again. I wonder if any are listening. Who's listening? Second Timothy chapter 4. Look what it says. Verse 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn their ears away from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Right here. Is anybody paying attention? Is anybody watching? Is there any men that will stand in the truth of Jesus Christ? Any women who will stand in the truth of Jesus Christ and say wrong is wrong and right is right? Because it's getting very, very bad. We need the men and women to stand up. When men and women of Christ to stand up and call wrong, wrong and right, right. This is one of the most dangerous situations we've seen in a long time. Uh, she is a very popular and up and rising Christian singer. And she's leading tens of millions and soon to be hundreds of millions into a false Christian gospel, which is not a Christian gospel. It's a false gospel, and this is what she's doing, and it's very dangerous. God in heaven, please, please fall upon these people and open their eyes. Please do not hold Lauren Daigle up as an idol. She is not. She's one of the most dangerous women right now because of the power that she has uh, to bring the lambs of Christ into a false gospel. If you are a man or a woman of God, please pray against this. Pray for Lauren Daigle, by all means. I'm not sure if she's that much of a narcissist or why she's doing it, but nevertheless, she's doing it. So please lift this up in prayer in Jesus Christ's name.